In our first community conversation, we're joined by Amy Strong, Lung Screening Program Coordinator for UVA Health. She's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. I'm super happy to be here. Well, we are super happy to have you here. And we're talking about the connection between smoking and lung cancer, and more specifically, why it's so important to quit or to never even start in the first place. What would you say are the big, uh, the big connections there? Sure, so we know that there's lots of things that cause cancer. So it's often not just one thing over a person's lifetime, but usually a number of things. We know that in tobacco cigarettes, Cigarettes, there are at least 60 chemicals that are known cancer causing chemicals. Um, so there is a strong association with tobacco smoking and lung cancer. Um, so we know that there's uh, risk factors for lung cancer. Smoking is one of them, age is another. There's radon gas exposure and then chemical exposures, but it's often a combination of things over a person's lifetime that can lead to lung cancer. So that's why finding it early is so important to being able to treat patients to experience expand um, their uh, lifespan when they have a cancer diagnosis. Yeah, and, and when should people get screened for lung cancer? It might not be something a lot of people think about. It's a it's a thing that most people don't think yeah. about um, because as far as cancer screening goes, it's kind of the new kid on the block. We've been doing mammograms for breast cancer screening for a long time, colonoscopies for colon cancer screening for a long time, but it's really only been about 10 years that we've been doing CT scans of the lungs for lung cancer screening. And over the years, the screening criteria have evolved. It used to be very set rigid parameters, but now that we're 10 years into it, some of those parameters are loosening up. So right now we're considering um, a person high risk for lung cancer if they're between the ages of 50 and 80, if they are a current smoker or someone that's quit smoking within the last 15 years and have smoked about a pack a day for at least 20 years, which most people in that age demographic have smoked about a pack a day for more than 20 years. Yeah. Um, so those are the current criteria. Those guidelines are evolving. Um, the American Cancer Society last fall just got rid of that 15 year cutoff mark. And we're hoping that some of the other national groups that give us their screening guidelines will also broaden out their parameters so that we we can screen more people and find cancer in its earliest, most treatable stages. It's so important. And, and how does lung cancer screening work? It's really quite easy, right? It's the easiest thing that we can do to you yeah. as far as cancer <laughs> screening. Um, it's a simple CT scan of the chest. There are no needles in your veins. There's no dye or contrast. They literally lay you on the CT table and it scoots through the machine. And about 10 seconds later, you scoot out and you're done. So people are often in and out of the imaging center in just a few minutes and they can get back to their day. It's very easy. Awesome, easy and not, nothing to be scared of. Uh, and, and finally, real quick before we go, how can people get screened at UVA Health? Yeah, so we have a really robust screening program at all of our UVA locations, in including our community health locations at Culpeper, Prince William, and Haymarket. If people are interested in getting screened, they can t contact their primary care provider and say, hey, I'm this age, I've been a smoker, I want to get screened, and their doctor can just put in an order for the CT or refer them to our screening program, and we'll get them taken care of. All right, really good stuff. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Oh, you're welcome. We'll have you back soon. And Steve, back over to you.